Hey guys, Night Raven here. It's time for some more Dead by Daylight. Today we're going to play as the uh, survivor. The hmm. oh, this is the new survivor. Distortion. When your aura would be shown to the killer, the perk activates and the token is consumed. For the next six seconds, while the perk is activated, your aura and scratch marks will be shown to the killer. Oh. Aftercare, okay. Breakdown. The hook breaks and the killer's aura is shown for f four seconds. Let's start with that. Also, this is the new killer. You can customize it to uh, be other a male or a female, which is cool. None of the other killers are like that. I'm going to, of course, stick with the uh, survivor. I'm going to try him out to see how it turns out. Hopefully things go well. Shit. Obviously, a lot of people are trying out the t the uh, test build. This is a great way to confuse the, uh, the, uh, killer. If all four of us show up as, uh, as Jeff Johansson. <laughs> oh. This is part of the reason why I chose Survivor. From what I've seen on other people's channels and stuff, and on Twitch, they're waiting like 10, 15 minutes as the killer because a lot of people want to try the killer, while not many want to try being the survivor. I did not want to bore you with a 15 minute wait time for, uh, for that. The Legion. Oh, already facing against the Legion. Oh. Shit. I'm so, I am so used to having self care. I forgot. I do not have any anything on this guy just yet. Oh. This is going to suck for me. I just know it. 
because mainly because there are people out there who have had, you know, hours of experience on this, you know, going against this killer, and yet here I am, fresh new blood for him to sick his knife into. Oh, shit. Why is he breathing so hard? His breathing is so loud. And someone's already been found. And it's the uh, one person who was not uh, Jeff. I'm starting to think it's the uh, one person who uh, I'm starting to think it's that one uh, perk that allows the person's breathing to be louder. Thank you for being a great distraction. Uh, maybe not. That is not good at all. Might as well get some blood points somehow. Oh, shit. Oh crap, I just remembered. The killer has one of those perks where he can see the person's aura while they're in a locker. Shit. Hopefully it wasn't long enough for him to see me. Ugh. Where is the generator? Oh, here's a door. 
If I remember correctly, there's a... Up. There's a generator in here, and someone's on it. Uh, I know this is not wise, but... So far, I've been extremely lucky. Oh! Ow! Crap! Oh, Need to stop, you need to stop. Oh. One of the things about um, the new killer that I kind of like this self mend to prevent myself from uh, really. You saw me. I'd say he has enough time, like, I'd say he recovered enough, let's do this. Come on. Hurry. And he's on the generator. Hopefully you get it. I'm not going to attempt escaping just yet. I... Ah, oh, crap, he got found. Let's 
luckily my perk took that hook down. I think that was my perk. Hopefully that was enough of a distraction. Where was that house? See if I can do this. Took him right to a damaged hook. Yeah, this is the one that uh, fucked us over. Anytime two survivors or more are working on some, the same generator, the aura of the highlight is yellow for eight seconds. Since I know the blood points will not stay on. I'm Helms. 
Sorry. You know what? I have not really put many blood points into her. I might as well. Insidious or brutal strength. Right. There. Might as well put some blood points into her because I haven't done that since I got her. I hope you enjoyed this episode anyway, even though I didn't survive. Well, I hope you enjoyed it anyways. You know, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching. Until the next episode. Bye!